What o chaps, how the devil? Right, as we were talking about comedy today and uh, Jimmy Carr, I've obviously made my feelings known there. I thought I'd address this scrawny boss-eyed communist. Because more than one person have asked me my opinion on Russell Howard. I think of all the British comics, he's the one I find the most annoying. Not because he looks like he's got AIDS and three tapeworms, but because of his insufferable far-left politics. Like, yeah, they're all a little bit woke occasionally. Even Frankie Boyle. I've got more time for him, because I think Frankie Boyle is just cynically playing the numbers game, because he was well-renowned well, for making politically incorrect jokes. That's how he made his name. The scruffy, beardy, geggy frisp that he is. Um... I think he's just cynically doing it for money because obviously he's Scottish, so he really, really loves money. Um, but Russell Howard, I think, actually is a bona fide, died in the wool, true red comrade. So I absolutely hate him. Uh, and I think that colours my perception of his comedy. His delivery is not too bad, actually. I don't think he's naturally unfunny. I just think he's trying too hard to be a political comedian. So no, I don't fucking like Russell Howard. However, Upon watching this video I was sent, it gave me a great idea for a video of my own because it astounded me how misleading this little rant of his was. I'm going to play you some of it because he rants about conservative sleaze whilst ignoring the bastard obvious. And the obvious is this. It's not the conservatives who have a problem with sleaze. It's every single British political party and almost every British MP, and I can't believe tra he and his lefty chums neglected to mention the fact that this shit is endemic with every British party. I'll play it for you, and then I'll show you the rest of the evidence, along with some staggering hypocrisy from all of our pies and the Lib Dems going to a hospital and not wearing a mask. Ugh. Ugh. How dare he? I mean, fucking hell, in this day and age, everyone in the hospital's already got the bastard, haven't they? That's probably what they're in the hospital for. Nobody else is in the hospital. All the people with cancer and heart problems and strokes and severe medical issues, they're not allowed to go to the bastard hospital because they're treating everyone with COVID. So is, is there any need for Boris Johnson to go? Everyone there's already got it and he's already had the fucking thing. Despite all this, the Tories are still ahead of Labour in the polls. Yeah, because as grossly incompetent and woke as they are, they're marginally less incompetent and woke than the fucking Labour Party. And obviously we all hate the Tories on this channel, but that's a fact. 36.9 versus 36.3 is about where you'd expect it to be. Because most of the country hates them because the blue fuckers on the left are walk lefty arseholes and the red fuckers on the right are full-blown walk lefty arseholes. So, I mean, are those numbers a surprise to you? They're not a... <laughs> Rapturous applause. Right. So, lo load of bollocks. And then he ends with some tepid thing that, oh yeah, but Keir Starmer's boring. No, Keir Starmer's not boring. Keir Starmer is bent, just like Coxie and every other bastard in the Houses of Parliament, regardless of party. Which brings me to this fucking dickhead. Ed Davey quits HFS advisory role amid MP's second jobs row, right? Listen to the shit that Ed Dipshit came out with the other day. Here's a story on Guido Fox. This is the man that had the brass neck of accusing the albino jellyfish of being mired in corruption and sleaze. Seriously, this is the man here. Just, just listen to this. But I think, uh, I think the public can see where the fault really lies on these occasions. Uh, it's been the Conservatives who've been mired in corruption and sleaze here. Um, they haven't got their act together. They've tried to undermine the independent process to bring a Conservative MP and to hold them to account for breaking the rules. And we've seen this as Prime Minister, and I'm really worried that Boris Johnson is not acting uh, with the decency and honesty we expect from uh, British Prime Ministers. You know, for example... The decency and honesty we expect. No, mate. No, mate. The great British public are well aware that our leaders are absolute vermin. They are rattlesnakes with ties on. Every single one of them. You all are pigs with your fat faces in the overfilled trough. Especially Keir Starmer and Ed Davey. So you, boss I, what you talking about the Tories for? As if this isn't endemic in Parliament, eh? What, what, why is it even a party issue? Why? It's not a party issue. It's a parliament issue. 
And every single one of those rat bastards under that roof is doing the exact same fucking thing. Guido pointed out that Davy himself rakes in 78 grand a year for 120 hours work on his second jobs. And if they're giving you 78 grand a year for doing 128 hours, 120 hours work, it's pure corruption. You're doing nothing. You are doing less work than the ship's cat. They are paying you money for political favours. That is a fucking fact. And this necky bastard has the brass balls to make statements about one particular party doing it, as if they aren't all doing the exact same bastard thing. It says that HSF you received £5,000 for six hours a month. Six hours a month. So you're not doing any work. It's a bribe. They're paying you, so you'll do them political favours. It's blatantly obvious, and everybody knows it. Oh, look, Ed's decided to end his consultancy contracts last week. Of course he did, because he got caught. And only because he got caught. So let me just finish up by saying this. The Tories are bent, and the shitbags. Of course they are. But Ed Davey is even worse, because he is a bent shitbag that is claiming he isn't, and hypocritically attacking the Conservatives for doing the exact same thing that he does. And yes, for those of you that aren't aware, of course, Kia Starmer is doing the exact same thing. So, ladies and gents, once again, it's a fucking farce. It's political theatre. They are all at it. But at least, at least the posh boys that are fisting us are A, posh boys, and everybody knows it, and B, don't spend all day pointing out that Labour and the Lib Dems and the SNP and the Greens are all doing it. Because they do. So as usual, the anti-Tory angry bootneck is happy to call the Conservatives scum, but he'd still rather be trapped in a lift with Boris Johnson than either of these two sneaky, beady-eyed, rat-faced little weasels. Thanks for listening. See you all at 7pm. Cheers.